Russia has utilized private military companies as an important component of its irregular warfare strategy. Instead of deploying large numbers of conventional Russian soldiers, Moscow has instead leveraged special operations forces, as well as private military companies to expand its influence and secure economic gains. As CSIS data highlight, the number of countries where Russian private military companies operate increased sevenfold from four countries in 2015 to 27 in 2021. These companies have been involved in a range of activities such as combat operations, intelligence collection, training, and information operations to further Moscow's interests. CSIS recently completed a comprehensive investigation of Russia's use of private military companies. During that investigation, we identified the Wagner Group as a principal element in these operations and had operated a major facility in Molkino, Russia. Satellite imagery has identified this facility specifically and that is located within a large Spetsnaz, Special Forces, military base. This location strongly suggests close links with Russian military intelligence, known as the GRU, and the Foreign Intelligence Service, known as the SVR. This imagery indicates that the Molkino facility was established sometime between mid-2015 and mid-2016. It has been active in all imagery since that time, as indicated by the numerous and varying numbers of cargo trucks, small trucks, civilian vehicles, and shipping containers. The facility encompasses approximately 2.5 hectares, which are surrounded by a barbed wire security fence with a single entrance, which has a guard post, restricting access to the facility. One of the regions where there has been a notable increase in Russian private military companies is in Africa, including in the Central African Republic. Beginning around December 2017, Russia began providing military assistance to the Central African Republic, particularly through private military companies like the Wagner Group. Out of bases like the one in Berengo, Moscow provided military training and security services in exchange for the ability to develop gold, uranium, and diamond mines. The main base at Berengo was established around the former quote unquote, palace of Jean Bedel Bocasa. Since 2018, all imagery has shown that this facility has been active. Many of the facilities have been repaired. Numerous trucks were present. At least 16 large tents were established. And defensive fighting position as indicated by trenches. By 2019, there had been some rearrangement of the trench there. There was vehicles present and new buildings were under construction. Activity has continued until present, although we've seen a reduction in the number of large tents or shelters. We see some new buildings and we see the presence of larger numbers of vehicles. Russia's growing use of military companies requires a more substantive and coordinated response by the United States and its partners. Moving forward, the U.S. and its Western partners should focus on increasing broader public awareness of Russian private military company activity, increasing financial pressures on Russian companies, particularly through economic sanctions, and specifically targeting the Wagner Group, the largest and the most important of Russia's private military companies. <laughs>